Hello everyone, this is Sindhu from Vibjr Primary School. Today I am going to teach third class science subject. We have already completed introduction about this topic. First chapter things around us in their first lesson living and non-living things. Today we are going to discuss about features of living and non-living things. Here are some important points we discuss about this. First one is living things breathe, living things have life cycle, living things feel, living things require food, living things show movement, living things reproduce. First we discuss about living things breathe. Living things means all living things need air or oxygen to breathe in and breathe out carbon dioxide. In this process they use their organs like nose, mouth, some fishes, uh, fishes, fishes breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide through their gills. Plant breathe, uh, plant breathe in carbon dioxide and leave out oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. Uh, do you have observed if any non-living things breathing, breathing or responding to any anything? No, no books, uh, uh, books, chair, fan, such things not breathe. So they are called non-living things. Next one is. Living things have life cycle. Living things have life cycle means they show some growth in their in their life cycle. First, a baby grows into a girl, and a girl grows into young woman, and then into old. Such like such like non-living things mean non-living things like pencil, eraser. Such things not show any growth. Living things feel. Living things feel means they respond to the environment. If like that we if we touch any hot object we remove our hands immediately that that means we have some feeling we have we have some feeling so such a so, so like that we remove our hands immediately uh, this feeling and the living things feel means they respond to the environment uh, by the by some organs like skin ears nose like that Non-living things uh, does not have such feelings. Next, li living things require food. Living things require food. Food is essential for all living things to survive and grow. Living things require food means they, they eat some food. By, the, by eating they survive. They, they, they will grow like that. Some animals and humans and animals depend on plants and some other animals for their food. And plants uh, prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis by using sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. No non-living non things does not require food because they can't grow. Living things show movement. Living things show movement means they can move from one place to another place. Uh, human beings and animals move from one place to another place in search of food, shelter, water, for etc. And uh, they show movement to protect themselves from enemies protect themselves from enemies uh, like birds can fly fish can swim in water and snakes crawl crawl means pakadam living things show and plants also show movement plants also show movement means climbers climbers climbs to walls creepers spread on ground and um, some trees grows upwards living things reproduce all living things have life cycle so reproduction is an important part of their life all living things are capable or capable to produce their own kind this means all living things have life cycle they grow they grow in in their stages in their age stages so reproduction is important to their life all living things are capable to produce their own kinds. Human beings and animals, cows, animals means cows, dog, like that, they give, they give directly birth to their young ones. Birds, fishes, snakes lay eggs. From that eggs, the young ones hatch out from the eggs. Non-living things cannot reproduce. But uh, now plants, how plants will reproduce means plants arises from the seeds produced by an adult plant. Non-living things not have this process of reproduction. Thank you everyone.